you know we middle class people we don't want to give extra burden to our family because we wanted that if we go to a college it should have a scholarship and all in first attempt i could not qualify then i took a drop year obviously and uh, i also qualified j advanced and j mains and through counseling i did not completely attempt the counseling of j hi everyone recently someone asked me how many attempts did you give to qualify the nest examination and that made me remember my past so when i was in class 11th me and my friends a lot of them did not even know about exams like kvpy nest iit etc because we were in a village and we did not have cell phone we did not have any smartphone any internet connection and when i was in class 12th so with one of my friends i took uh, his phone we searched about the scholarship exams because you know we middle class people we don't want to give extra burden to our family because we wanted that if we go to a college it should have a scholarship and all and at least we do something so that we get scholarship so that we don't have to pay you know lakhs and lakhs of the fees and also we wanted to go to a good college not just any college so uh, we started searching for we applied for kvpy exam we applied for nest exam those two scholarship exams we could find uh, we could not find iser aptitude test even even after my drop year i did not know about isers at all and that is the lack of awareness in our country okay that is how much awareness we have about isers and all now we we did not prepare anything all we read was ncert of 11th and 12th we were not ready at all but we just wanted to give it a try so we filled the form of kvpy and nest and i am from mp riva and the nearest center was in allahabad so we went to allahabad we gave the test in class 11th i think we gave kvpy essay but we could not qualify in 12th then we i did not give i did not even fill the form and in 12th i filled the form of nest exam i think then uh, i could not qualify the exam and as expected i was not expecting that i'm going to qualify i just wanted to give the exam to get an experience to see how the questions come to see how you know this computer interface at least i should practice once after 12th if i give exam i should have some practice how to practice on computer i did not even have a smartphone so practicing or giving exam on a computer was a big deal for me so that is what happened so in first attempt i could not qualify then i took a drop year obviously and droppers cannot give kvpy exam right you can either give in 12th 11th or being in first year of your college so i did not give kvpy so i gave nest once again in 2018 and this time i qualified and then uh, i also qualified j advanced and j mains and through counseling i did not completely attempt the counseling of j and then finally as i wanted to become a scientist and all i had lot of passion about you know science doing research and uh, not exactly particularly about engineering however i had lot of interest in engineering as well about robotics and all but then i chose science because i did not know anyone who was doing uh, you know basic science research and all I, a lot of people did not even know about nizers and all and obviously it was under da department of atomic energy and i was getting scholarship that is also one of the factors so all these factors a lot of these factors i thought about a lot in these things and finally i chose that i'm not going to go for je counseling i came for nizer counseling and then i was selected and that is how i came to nizer so that is my preparation story why did i share this story because in case you are feeling low in case you think you cannot qualify nest or you think uh, that you are not prepared enough don't worry uh, first of all no one is prepared enough even when i gave in my drop year i was not prepared you cannot be prepared 100% for any competitive exam okay and a lot of times see one thing i want to tell you in last year our crash courses there were lot of toppers who used to top in the mock test but they are not in any of the nizer and nizer and a lot of people who were just average student even below average student they used to get very less marks in our mock test because our mocks were very difficult than actual exam and they are now in nizer kolkata nizer pune nizer all nizer mohali etc they used to cry on the phone call with me that i am not going getting the marks so in case you are feeling demotivated in case you think your preparation is not enough just give the exam just give the exam no one knows what is going to happen on the day of actual exam the mocks you give the questions you prepare that is for your brain to you know uh, function in a particular way so that you have enough enough practice and all but on the actual exam obviously the questions are not going to be repeated the questions which you prepare and the question in exam will be different right you cannot really uh, it's not a board exam that you read some chapters in ncert and then some subjective question might come so what i'm saying is just give the exam just do it
Don't let your dreams be dreams. Have faith in yourself. No one knows. Even the toppers may not get selected, and below average student can get selected. That is what happens. That is just I don't know how it works, but it just happened. Even after you're not getting a lot of marks in the mock test, as I told you that yes, we have designed the mock test in a way that you're not going to solve a lot of questions. That is so that you can improve and see your concept. Okay, so if you're not able to get a lot of marks in the mock test or any amount of marks in the mock test, do not be demotivated. Please, just talk to the faculty, talk to me, talk to Akhil, talk to your mentors. We have Telegram group, we have apps. You can directly message me in the app. So do whatever you can, but do not get demotivated at all. Okay, that is the first step. Second step is as you fail in the questions, you are not able to attempt it. As I told you, from question to theory, you go to the theory from the question. And if you are facing any problem from question to theory approach, you ask your mentor that why am I not able to solve this question? Why did the examiner ask question like this? And what concept did you want to teach me from this question? So take the help of the mentors. and all but please don't be demotivated and if you want more resources those who are new to my channel if you want resources free study material free mock test and crash courses for nest or iit cmi isi etc kvpy also we have on our app called siestra all the links are in the description if you have any questions any doubt if you are feeling emotionally low you can just message me directly on my app called siestra you can also write in the comments below so with that all the best take care see you in the next video bye